Welcome out, Army fans. This is Joe Iacono with GoBlackKnights.com, along with two of the newest members of the recruiting class of 2023 for your Army Black Knights. Bill Young, who's a running back from uh, St. Andrews High School in Boca Raton, Florida, and Miles Arterberry, who is also a running back from uh, Klein High School in Klein, Texas. How you guys doing today? Doing great, sir. Doing great. Good. Doing great, yes, sir. Good. So, uh, Miles, why don't you... Um, Talk us through what your day's been like, uh, how the how the signing process went today. Yes, sir. Well, today I woke up and I got a lot of texts from my family and they were just hitting me up saying congratulations. Really proud of you. Uh, came downstairs. My mom had all downstairs decked out. I had you know, Army flags, Army West Point flags. I had my letter down there. Everything was great. So I got myself a good bite to eat and some pancakes, some eggs, some bacon. And we got right to the video we signed and made it official. Texted the coaches and they all congratulated me. It was amazing. Good, good stuff. Candy canes, eggs, and bacon. That's the breakfast of champions right there. <laughs> good stuff. How about how about you, Bill? How's your day gone? Well, not as crazy as that. So I uh, just woke up. Uh, kind of had like a private signing day today. My school does ours. Uh, we'll have a big ceremony in uh, April in the spring for me. So kind of just signed, sent it over to the coaches. Got texts from my family as well. They're all excited. I'm excited. And let's get this thing going. Cool. Um, so, uh, you know, both of you guys had offers from the other academies. Um, you had some other D1 offers out there as well. Um, you know, I'll, I'll start with Bill this time, I guess. Bill, what made you choose West Point? And I think you committed verbally way back in like June. What made you choose West Point over the other offers that you had? Just the opportunities that it has to offer, you know, it's bigger than football. So just, you know, being job secure after graduation and I have family all in the military as well in the army, especially. So, I mean, it's just a great opportunity to play. The campus is beautiful. You're playing big time football, so you can't beat it. Nice. How about you, Miles? What made you commit to West Point? You also gave a verbal way back in June, I think as well. And, and you had a lot of other D1 offers as well. Yes, sir. Well, for me, it was more the same thing as Bill said, you know, just the opportunities. You can't find them anywhere else. And uh, this, I will take this time to, I will credit the other academies, but other academies are amazing, amazing program people, but it was different. When I came to West Point, it was just different. And I talked to Coach Monk, and I mean, he's just honest with me. Coach Vitti was just honest. Coach Sloan, he was just honest. And they told me, they said, hey, uh, when I actually, Coach Monk came to give me my offer, he said, I want to earn your commitment. He didn't say, here's an offer, take it, nothing. He said, I want to earn your commitment. And, that really, and I think that's one of the main reasons because the people at West Point, it's the biggest difference. You can't find them anywhere else. Yeah, in addition to Coach Munkin, who is a super high-quality, high-integrity individual, um, you mentioned you uh, had the opportunity to interact with Coach Vitti as one of your recruiters. And, of course, he's a West Point grad, so he can speak – uh, first person kind of about what the experience is like. Tell me a little bit about your relationship with Coach Vitti and, and what you guys talked about a little bit as you were going through the recruiting process. Well, Coach Vitti used to be my area recruiter. He uh, recruited uh, Tyler and Kale Hellums. They're in the prep school going to be in the freshman in the academy next year. But so he used to be in my, you know, my area. And so I kind of got a relationship with him because he had a relationship with with them also and then when coach sloan became the area recruiter i got him and of course we went down to the army navy game and i met the, i got to meet coach v coach sloan we got to sit in the room just talk and like i said just some of these guys are really open they're really open about their experiences and what they've done in life and they want you to experience experience those same things too so whenever i talk to coach v he's just he's always there he's always he's like he's a go he's a go-getter i'll say it that way he's a go-getter and i want to be just like that cool well that's really good. So, um, you know, let me ask you, Bill, um, you know, as this process kind of goes through, um, are you heading to the, uh, for both of you, I guess, uh, are you heading to the prep school first or are you going straight to West Point? Oh, I'm headed to the prep school first to develop there. Okay. How about you, Miles? Same thing. Okay, cool. So a lot of the, uh, a lot of the class I've talked to already is heading to prep first, which is great to get that extra year in kind of get used to the military lifestyle a little bit, get the academics up. Um, so let me ask you two specifically, since you're both being recruited to play offense, um, I'm not sure if you've specifically spoken with 
anybody on the coaching staff in the last week or so, but uh, I'm sure you've been following the news that uh, Army has uh, basically hired co-offensive coordinators. Uh, Matt Drinkle, who was the tight ends coach, is getting a little bit of a promotion. And then we hired uh, a guy named Drew Thatcher out of University of Nebraska, Kearney. And we've had the opportunity to watch some film of what they've done. It's a it's a triple option scheme for sure, but it's a little bit different scheme. Um, Miles, just, you know, you're shaking your head. Yes. So you've obviously heard a little bit about it. Tell me a little bit about, um, you know, who you've talked to from the coaching staff, if anybody, or what your thoughts are on the new offensive coordinator and the new offense. Yes, sir. Well, I was kind of iffy because, of course, I didn't know who they were going to bring in. But the coaches called me. They assured me that the guy that they had coming in was the real deal. And whenever they, you know, signed a, a coach stature, they put it on Twitter. Uh, of course, I did my own little research into it. And he yeah, he has a yeah, he has a record to him. I mean, both his running backs last year, thousand yards. The quarterback, the quarterback has a lot of uh, accolades and awards to him too. So I mean, if he can bring out the West Point, I'm all for it. So hey, I'm I'm all here for him. Absolutely. Bill, how about you? What have you heard about it or or kind of, you know, what do you know so far? Yeah, I did my research as well. He brings in some good accolades. So I'm excited to see what he'll bring to West Point and uh excited to work with him and uh see what this offense could get. It was explosive before, so now I just can't wait to see how more explosive we get. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, you know, as you guys go through, you're gonna be at the prep school in 23. 24 will be your plea beer at West Point. So the uh, the Mikey Stadium renovation project is supposed to be done and ready to go for the start of the 2025 season, which will be your sophomore slash yearling year at West Point. Miles, how excited are you to not only play in a historic national landmark, Mikey Stadium, but to have a brand new stadium to play in as far as the uh, the East Stands go and the Memorial Park and everything else? Honestly, I love the old stadium. The old stadium is amazing. But the fact that the coach told me it was getting renovated, I was like, ain't no way. I'm about to play in some big, some big time situations, big time teams in this stadium. So I'm extremely excited for it. That's good stuff. Um, Bill, did you get the opportunity to uh, watch the Army Navy game? And how exciting was that? Yeah, I was watching. I didn't sit down one time. I was pacing back and forth. That game was, <laughs> it started off a little boring. I won't lie, it was a little boring. But <laughs> later in the fourth quarter, when they started going at it, I was like, all right, this is a game. So I'm glad we got it. I'm glad we got the win. So. Being yeah, how game. crazy was it, right? It was there's like no offense, all a regulation, and then overtime starts and everybody's throwing haymakers. Miles, <laughs> uh, what was your impression of the game? I, I was at the game. I was in the uh, I was in the Navy side by that end zone while the recruits were. And when I like this is kind of what Bill said was kind of eh at the first, and everybody was kind of talking. We're like, man, what's what's going on? Like, this is defense, right? You're no offense happening. I love offense, though. And then they start going. Uh, just, it's kind of hard to explain. Just like you said, just don't hand make. They're just going back and forth with it. And every, I'm telling you, the whole crew section was going crazy. We're going wild. We're just screaming. <laughs> so, that's great. Yeah. yeah, that's, you know, the funny thing about that game is the two, and it's kind of this way with Air Force too, the teams know each other so well that it makes it really hard for the offenses, honestly. Um, but I think that's, you know, one of the reasons Coach Munkin looked to bring in a little bit of a new scheme um, to kind of switch some things up and get a little more productivity against the other two academies. So, um, all right. Well, thanks a lot, guys. I will, uh, one more question before I let you go. Uh, we'll start with Bill. Bill, um, you know, along this journey, you, you now have had the opportunity to uh, officially commit to West Point, um, which is, you know, no small achievement, less than 10% of all the people who apply to West Point actually get in. Um, and so who do you want to thank for helping you along this journey? Definitely, I want to thank God as first and foremost, because, you know, without him, I wouldn't be anything. And I, definitely my uh, mom, for sure, she had my back and for everything. So she always supported me and my family as well. My sister all supported me go to all my games, just my whole family in general. And definitely Coach, uh, Coach Dixon for believing in me and giving me that first offer. So definitely want to thank him. Great. And how about you, Miles? Who would you like to thank for helping you? Man, I just like to thank the Lord because he's the reason I'm really here in the, in the beginning, honestly. I want to thank my trainers, my family, my mom, my dad, my sisters, my cousins. Uh, I want to thank all my friends, all my coaches, because when I was in the mud, they brought me up. And that's pretty much it because they're the reason I am who I am today. 
Great. Well, thanks so much, guys, for your time today. Really appreciate it. I know you both have had super busy days, um, so that's great. It'll get you uh, ready for the time management skills you'll have to develop as future West Point cadets. Um, uh, Army fans, this has been Joe Icono with GoBlackKnights.com, along with the newest members of the 2023 recruiting class at West Point, Bill Young and Miles Ar Arterbury. Go Army, beat Navy.